Are your team members on Slack and you want to selectively send your job form submissions to Slack so your team members can take care of those submissions? Well, it is possible with job form tables and a button that we're going to add. So let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is George, and this is Job Form. On this case, I'm going to show you how to selectively send your form submissions to Slack so your team members can take care of it. Maybe you have your marketing team over there, your accounting, your sales, etc. And it's a great way to have them take care of these clients based on the submissions that you sent over there. So instead of sending every single job form submission to Slack, we're going to selectively send it by clicking on a button on job form tables that we're going to add. Okay. So let's get started. On this case, I'm going to create a really quick form for this demo. I'm going to start from scratch, classic form, and it does work with current form too. Let's go ahead and add some basic elements. So I'll add the form, the phone, and the email. Okay, so we have these three elements, but you can add all the elements that you want, and these will be sent over to Slack. As I mentioned before, we want to selectively send the form submissions. But if you want to send every single submission, you will do it through the form. In settings, integrations, searching for Slack, and integrating here. But in this case, we only want to send it via a button. OK, so in this case, let me fill out the form twice. So we have some demo data that we can use for this form. OK, so let me go ahead and submit this once. Head on out of here, submit it once again. Let me just go ahead and add a two here to just kind of have different data Submit it, And we're good to go. OK, we have demo data. Let's jump over to job form tables. So let's click on the top menu here. Go to tables. And in tables, we're going to have all the form submissions here. Now, maybe you have hundreds, thousands of form submissions, but we only want to send the ones that we feel are the ones necessary to Slack. So in this case, let's go ahead and add that button. So let's click on the add column here. We're going to select buttons, send data to other apps, hit next. Let's give our column a name. In this case, I'll say Slack. Let's hit next. And in this case, we're going to select Slack. And in Slack, we have three options. One is send message to public channels. So that means that it's a channel on Slack that's public private channel, that's a private channel that you've created and sent a direct message. So in this case, I want to send it to a private channel. So let's hit next. Let's select our account. Now, in this case, I've already integrated, but if I want to integrate, I'll click on use another account. And what it's going to ask is for your workspace domain. So when you have a Slack account, you have a workspace that starts with and then dot slack.com. In my case, it's sasmaster.workspace. And I added right here and continue with the process to allow Slack to connect with job form. OK, so in this case, I'll continue with mine. Let's go ahead and add the action. Here we go. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is to select the channel. Now, if you haven't previously created a channel, do so first. In this case, I've created one that's called Jot. But if you want to create a brand new one, click on the plus button, click on channel and then create your channel right here. OK, in this case, I'm going to use this one, which is called Jot, just for testing purposes. And next, we want to add the invite to job form. The second thing you need to do is send the invite to job form. So we want to copy this message right here and send that message out here in job form. In this case, I've already invited job form, so it says it's already invited. So I don't have to do it twice, but you would have to do it the first time. All right. Once that's done, we're going to continue with the customized message title. So by default, it says new submission for and the form title. I could say, for example, dash and I can use one of the variables here and I can say the name, right? So we're going to make it simple. You can remove everything and add your own title if you like, right? And then we have the option to add form field message. So I'm going to click on this drop down menu and I want to send out the name, the phone and the email. So these are the elements from your form. Now, if you have several elements, maybe you don't want to send all the data. So you just select the ones that you want to send out. Next option we have is add the action button. We want to enable this or not, depending on your use case. So we can enable a button that says view submission. And if they click on it, it goes jump into view submission or edit the submission. I'm going to enable both of these so you see how they work. OK, let's go ahead and save this. Let's create the column. And now we have our button added right here. So imagine 100, 1000 submissions here, and we're going to analyze the submissions and just send the data that we want. So in this case, let's just say that I want to send this one out. John Smith two and two. Let's go ahead and send that data. Let's go to Slack and here we go. It's been sent out. So here's the title with the name, right? And then the data, the name, the phone and the email. So that's how easy it is for your team members to jump into Slack and view that data by viewing it 
from the data that I've just sent out by clicking a button. It could be your marketing team, your accounting team, your sales team, etc. And they'll take care of the submission for the future. And you also have the option, as I mentioned before, we enabled the view submission and the edit the submission. So if I want to view the submission, I'll click on it. It'll take me to view the submission. OK, so here we go. Or what about if I want to edit this because I have some new data there? Maybe I have some fields that will give me some a new phone number, a new email, etc. Well, I can go ahead and edit it from here. So let's just say that this changed to a tool, a tool, and I'll go ahead and submit it. Let's go ahead and close this and the data just updated. And I can go ahead and resend this data from here. So I have the option to resend it. Or what if I want to send another contact? So let's go ahead and send this out. Let's go into Slack. And here we go. We have the new submission. And that's how easy it is to integrate job form with Slack to send out your form submissions, but in a selective manner. So you are a personal filter that decides what data is going to be sent over to Slack. So instead of sending every single form submission, we only send the one that we like by clicking on the button. So I hope you like this video. Please let us know here in the comments what you think about this integration with job form and Slack and what you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.